Welcome everyone to my place of business. To me making salsa. I don't know why I thought that this would be a good idea, but I figured, hey, I like salsa, I like chips and dip, and I figured that I can at least maybe bestow some knowledge on some people if I remember how to do this properly. I have made salsa before, but it's been many years since we've actually made <laughs> any salsas at all. The store brand salsas aren't that good. So maybe I could try to make it better. Maybe. I don't know. Today I got my grandmother's food processor. Very weird because it's stained the plastic and so it looks like hell, but it's been through hell, okay? This thing has been around for a while. <laughs> I got all the ingredients in here. I got one white onion. I got cilantro. I got some Roma tomato. I didn't get the canned tomatoes. They're in the house. I can go get them. And I also got some of these peperos. All right. Well, sorry about that. I almost forgot the dashed tomatoes as well, which, of course, those are going to be a wonderful addition. Don't worry, I'm not flipping you off, but a wonderful addition to this. Let's go ahead and cut up some stuff. I got a cutting board and a couple knives that are on a very jank setup. You'll see. All right. And I don't really think it matters too much with the knives, especially since it's all going to go in a food processor anyway. But I figured if I could at least chop up some of this stuff and make it a little more bearable to go into the food processor, make it not work as hard, you know, maybe that would be a good thing. Also, I don't really want the seeds to be in there because I feel like that that would make the salsa not as enjoyable. I could be wrong. Someone will probably comment on that in the comment section, and that is fine. Now, there are still going to be some seeds in here, but I think that that will be okay. I just don't really want to have too many of them. All right, let's drop them in. Ew. Hey, it was probably a good thing that I chopped them in half at least. Yeah! Yeah, come on, chop. Choppy, chop, chop. Yeah, blend that bitch. Oh my god, now it's starting to puree. Shit. <laughs> no, it's a puree now. I didn't mean for that to happen. This is a very interesting way to make salsa, I will say that. This is Jake's signature waffle with sriracha mayo and other toppers with some mild cheddar cheese and mild cheddar cheese in there. Try and top that if you dare. BK. Have it your way. You rule! And then one half of an onion. Or a shitty third of an onion. Yeah, we'll just toss that right. Yeah, chop it up. Chop it up. Chop it up real good. Just letting you know, I don't know how I'm making salsa this way, but so far it's like not bad. Bloop. All right, here we go. Smells pretty goddamn good, to be honest with you. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about it just yet. Hang on. Not all of the uh, tomato broke apart. Eh, go ahead and just drop it in there like that. Hmm. Well, let's see what that did. What do you think you're doing? You're going to watch the content over here and not even think about subscribing? Oh, that hurts my feelings. Get to subscribing. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. So get to subscribing today and that'll be one more subscriber that I need to get more subscribers.
just subscribe. Just subscribe to the channel. Please. <laughs>